Well, I demolished the State House of Assembly complex. Joseph Johnson, Commissioner for Information and Rivers, said the government took the decision because of the structural defects in the building after the fire incident of October. On Wednesday, the government commenced the demolition of the assembly complex in Port Harcourt, the state capital. There were insinuations that the bulldozing of the complex had some political undertone. Called at, um, on the 30th of October, after the fire incident that took place on the 29th, arising from the visit of His Excellency, I was on that trip and we got there to assess the extent of damage. But beyond that, His Excellency also commissioned uh, consultants who went into the structure and came up with uh, an advice that uh, it was no longer habitable and not very conducive for business. On the strength of that advice, the government had decided to demolish that structure and also provide a befitting place for members of parliament to transact their business. Well, the rapidity at which uh, we commence today will tell you that uh, we're prepared to do it. I and mean, within record time, I'm sure that place will be fit for uh, legislative business. Meanwhile, the River State Governor, Sim Fubara, has presented the 800 billion Naira 2024 appropriation bill to the Edison Ahir led Speaker of River State House of Assembly at the Government House the same moment the demolition was carried out. The presentation was done at the government house in Port Harcourt following the demolition of the assembly complex by the state government and in line with the state high court order which restrained his contender, Martins Amawole, from using the assembly complex. Fubara said the estimated budget was aimed at promoting economic development through inclusive growth and address socio-economic inequalities in the state. The 2024 budget size. The total projected revenue for River State for the year 2024 fiscal year is 800 billion, 392 million, 485,433 naira, one cobalt. This is constituted as follows. The current expenditure. 361 billion, 998 million, 242,570 naira, 85 cobalt. Governor Fubara restated his commitment for good governance to the people of the state. The Speaker, Edison here assured the Governor of speedy passage of the bill so that the administration can keep the ground running for the overall welfare of Rivers residents, security amongst others. Our spirit is high. Our determination is forever strong as we remain focused on delivering on our mandate as an honest, accountable, just and fair manner to all parts of the state and all segments of the society. Subsequently, our commitment is to strengthen, motivate the civil servants for optimal and responsible performance through regular promotion, payment of salary, pension and gratuity, and the provision of good working environment. I assure you of speedy passage of this bill so that your administration can keep the ground running for the overall well-being, welfare, security of Rivers people, Rivers State, and the administration, admiration of Nigerians at large. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.